Prince Philip died aged 99 on April 9th, with Buckingham Palace confirming the news in a statement and mentioned in part that Philip passed away peacefully that morning at Windsor Castle. Philip's cause of death was not confirmed at the time, though he had only recently left the hospital following a fairly lengthy stay. Philip returned home on March 16th, a month after the royal was first admitted after feeling unwell for a few days. He initially entered a private hospital, but worrying news came on March 1st when Philip was transferred by ambulance to a non-private hospital that specialized in heart conditions. The Telegraph reported that the move came because Philip needed to be treated for an infection and also needed tests for a pre-existing heart condition. Philip was previously hospitalized in 2011 after experiencing chest pains and underwent a minimally invasive procedure of coronary stenting. While his hospital stint caused some speculation about why he died, Philip's cause of death has now officially been made public. Per The Telegraph, Prince Philip's death certificate was certified by the head of the royal medical household, Sir Hugh Thomas, and confirmed that Queen Elizabeth II's husband died from old age. As reported by the Daily Mail, the term old age is accepted as a cause of death for anyone over the age of 80, when the deceased has been cared for by a doctor for a long period who has seen their health decline. The document listed Philip's full name as His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, formerly known as Prince Philippos of Greece and Denmark, formerly known as Philip Mountbatten. His occupation was listed as Naval Officer, Prince of the United Kingdom, husband of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Sovereign. Philip died just two months before he would have celebrated his 100th birthday. People across the globe paid tribute to the late monarch in the days that followed his death, from commoners to the royal family. Prince Philip announced his retirement in May 2017 and officially stepped down from royal duties in August of the same year, according to The Guardian. The late Duke of Edinburgh was the longest-serving royal in history, taking on 22,100 191 solo engagements and gave 5,493 speeches. An aide emphasized the retirement had nothing to do with Philip's health at the time. The Duke decided this is the right time. He's nearly 96 and most people will have retired 30 years earlier. Buckingham Palace released a statement that included the following message. The Duke will not be accepting new invitations for visits and engagements, although he may still choose to attend certain public events from time to time. Her Majesty will continue to carry out a full program of official engagement with the support of members of the royal family. Prince Philip declined in health as he got older, according to Fox News. In 2011, a helicopter airlifted the late Duke of Edinburgh to the hospital because he was suffering from chest pains and a blocked coronary artery. He stayed two nights at King Edward Hospital in 2017, and in 2018, he spent 10 days in the hospital for a hip replacement. Philip continued to slow down and was hospitalized to treat a pre-existing condition in December 2019. He ultimately had to stop driving at the age of 97 after after a car crash in January 2019. Although he had no injuries, two women in the other car had minor injuries. Even though Philip was not as sharp as he once was, his advanced age did not seem to bother him. He said in a documentary celebrating his 90th birthday in June 2011, I reckon I've done my bit. I want to enjoy myself for a bit now. With less responsibility, less rushing about, less preparation, less trying to think of something to say. On top of that, your memory's going. I can't remember names. Yes, I'm just sort of winding down.